welcome back to my channel today i want to give you guys a little bit of an update as to how it's been going with the apartment and also a little bit of an update on how the baby's been doing um with this whole move and transition so the last time i showed you the apartment it was a hot mess it needed to be painted it needed to be cleaned we didn't have any furniture in but now we're fully moved in and it is really coming together it's not done i want to say we're like 50 percent there but there's still so much furniture that we need to buy and also a lot of decor there's this vision i have in my head of what i want the apartment to look like what i want certain <laughs> hey baby what i want certain rooms to look like and we're just not there yet so please excuse the lack of decor but um it looks decent for now so i want to show you guys the updates so that you guys can see what it looks like now that the rooms are full so let's start with leo's room he's already got his toys kind of uh set up i'm still thinking about getting some kind of like shelving and just um maybe more bins so that this can be a little bit more organized but he doesn't have much and that's fine for us for right now then there's his little um drawer set up my little caddy we put these beautiful curtains in and then this oh lord guys so as you can see this is crazy that's our comforter that's a blanket that my cousin of mine knitted for leo and he just this is a pillow that mauricio tied to the crib so let me just give you guys a little bit of a background as to why leo's crib looks that way leo no don't don't eat the book <laughs> leo has been having extreme issues with sleeping lately and i think um a large part of it has to do with the transitioning of moving here and the other part of it is obvious teething and separation anxiety and when we were in our other place i really didn't have issues with leo sleeping putting him down for a nap he was doing well he wasn't sleeping through the night but we were actually getting there and again um it wasn't so bad when we moved here he refused to sleep in his crib like refused he didn't even want to stand there if i was in the room um and so it's been a hard two or three weeks very difficult and the reason leo's crib looks that way is because he would become so distressed that he was just throwing himself and he was just um allowing himself to fall all over the place and he was waking up with knots and bruises on his head and the concern was real the concern was serious and i really didn't want him to end up hurting himself so what we did is we added all that cushion to prevent him from hurting himself anymore but now that we've been here a while he's actually doing much better before he went from crying for an hour to not giving in and i i would have to pick him up and take him to our bed to then crying for 30 minutes to then crying for 15 minutes and now he literally cries for like two minutes and then goes to sleep in his crib so it's been fantastic this week but before i honestly felt like will i ever have him sleep in the crib again and will we ever have our bed free to ourselves again because it was almost seeming as if he was never gonna sleep in his crib again but we're a little over that hurdle you still gotta sleep through the night right baby and um yeah so if you guys are going through the same thing i want to say it gets better i hope it does stick it out keep trying but also stay safe and um make your make your crib <laughs> baby proof if you have to but um but yeah it was serious like he would bang his head on the rails here and it was just really it was really scary how he was waking up the bruises were crazy and i just couldn't deal so anyway so let's move over to my bedroom oh, it has a bed hello baby <laughs> um so now we have a bed now you can see how beautiful the paneling looks over it excuse the nightstands okay so this is the thing 
Um, I liked that lamp and my husband liked that lamp and at first I thought it would be cool to have two different ones but now I actually prefer the lamp that my husband got and so we are just waiting to go back to Ikea and get um, another one so that we have matching nightstands and also the table is oddly far from the bed it's not supposed to be like that but um, again nothing is finished so I'm not gonna be like a stickler about what it looks right now I just wanted to show you guys an update hello hello my little home model that's a motorcycle baby don't be scared then we put these curtains and they're giving the room all the like Parisian but also relaxed vibes of course laundry laundry you know mama gotta catch up on folding that laundry that's the mom life Leo, Leo, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. This is that lamp that I just loved, but I just don't think it goes. I think it's too small and it blends in too much with the wall. So I'm going to be changing it to that one. This typewriter and luggage here will not be stained. And there I plan to put a massive mirror um, so that it can reflect the room and make the room look bigger. So please again excuse everything nothing is like decorated or set in stone. Also if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I put a poll up regarding the rug I wanted here. I had kind of like a red one. It was uh, more on the vintage side and it was beautiful but my husband didn't like it because he said that it made the floors look more red than brown. So we changed that out. For this one and this one is still beautiful and I like it I like the cream warm colors that it's bringing in okay so let's move so this is the living room in this room there are no windows so I'm gonna do something really cool with that I hope that you guys like it when you see it come to fruition but we're not gonna be keeping that right there we might put a mirror on the wall we still need a little coffee table a side table and we actually are planning to put another chair or bench or ottoman here. We're not going to keep this chest. We had this chest in our old apartment and we're looking to get rid of that. So that's not staying. And then in this corner, we plan to put um, a plant and also some kind of decorum is going to go here. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but that's in the works so I made this like little sketch I don't know if anybody does this this is not the best sketch but I made this little sketch um, for what I want to happen in the living room and I don't know if you guys can tell but see that full window that we have I plan to put like a stool and a big beautiful vase with some pompous grass and I don't know can you guys see the vision can you imagine it what do you guys think? You guys think it's gonna look good? Let me know in the comments below. You know, what do you think of my idea? Don't judge my sketch, it's just a rough sketch. And I'm just so excited that I was inspired to draw um, the design. I don't usually do that, but I'm kind of like into it. Like I told you guys, I'm, I'm really getting into like the home decor thing now that I'm spending more time at home and actually enjoying it. Then this, which I am so happy about right now, is our kitchen so if you would have saw in my other video it was all empty and blah and now <laughs> there goes leo throwing everything on the floor now we have shelves and it just looks like we have so many appliances <laughs> we have shelves we have a little bit of an island we have this beautiful sheer shade and it's really all coming together now let's move into what will be the dining room. We recently cleared out. This whole room had all of our crap in here basically. It was just imagine this section taking over the room and that's that's what the case was here. But we finally cleared it out. Everything that you see here is due to be sold. That's why I have it there because I have to get to that. So that's going to be sold. In case you guys were curious, the whole gang is here and they're still destroying everything. We got this little uh, shelf, bookshelf here. My husband's office will now be here. We put curtains up. 
and eventually we'll have a dining set up here little area rug <laughs> and I'm hoping here we most likely will put a TV there and a beautiful cabinetry right underneath so we still have a long way to go but we're trying to attack what's priority right now so that's why things still haven't been bought and things are still in a, um, a transitional phase but that's where the apartment is that I think it's looking good I think that it's coming together I'm still over the moon by all the extra space that we have and this little one has just been running and walking everywhere and it just feels so nice to have extra space to feel like you can breathe all these big windows and natural sunlight coming in it's really it's really great so um I'll keep bringing you guys along as we keep um, changing and adding things and I think it'll be fun to watch um, how things change. I know for me, I enjoy watching the transformation of spaces and how they come to life. Alright guys, well that's a small short little vlog, a small short little update. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that so let me know what you guys thought of this vlog. Let me know what you think of my ideas. Let me know if you like this kind of content. I honestly haven't been able to shoot any sit down content because the transition with moving has just been insane. All of our routines are thrown off. But as soon as we get more settled in, I'm going to try to get into more of a routine of things. Well guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.